stabilize the cloud. I did it. Clearly someone was here recently and used this rope. I'll try to find more traces. The localizer has detected a signal. That means another quantum cloud must be near. went up from here.
I'll try to find more traces. blood and it's not even dry yet. Whatever happened here, it hasn't been long. The trail leads through that gate. I'll go check it out. I clearly dragged something heavy through that gate. Damn, the gate is closed. I need to look for a way around. Planks are loose. I'll try to break them out. Blood hasn't dried yet. I'll follow its trail. Maybe someone needs help. Just closed. It looks like something or someone is hanging in there. Is that... <laughs> Fuck! This thing scared the shit out of me. I'd better check what the localizers detected before I go in.
is he? What did he hide here? A hunting knife. Someone must have used it recently and tried to hide it there. I'll take it, just in case. Time to go back to the barn. Maybe I can find a side entrance. Who could have done this? This wasn't just some poacher, more like a fucking sadistic hunter. Wait, that beeping. It's as if it's coming from the inside. The animal is hung up on a rope. Maybe I can get up there and cut it down. I could use that crate to reach the ladder and climb up.
This is sick. I think I'm gonna puke. What's all this equipment? And why was it in... Fuck, what if the Soviets sent someone to follow us? Well, there's the fuse. So the fucker who gutted the animal has also been in our house. In our basement. If this isn't a threat, then I don't know what is. At least I've got the goddamn fuse. Time to go to the basement and turn the power back on. I don't like this. Someone's butchered a deer and the evidence suggests that sick fuck has been in our house. I remember back in the day, some twisted kids in the area played with the occult. I don't think this could have been them. Besides, the equipment that was inside it looked military grade. But clearly, the locals make new neighbors feel welcome. I just hope they don't mistake us for turkeys on Thanksgiving. Power's back on, I guess. Hmm, interesting. Or maybe it's no big deal. Maybe I've just been reading too much poll. Well, my job here is done. I better go back under Emma's thumb, considering her mood swing. And it's only the third month. What's it gonna be like by the ninth? Jesus, woman! You want me to have a heart attack? Cool, huh? Wonder if some magician used to live here. Sure, Harry fucking Houdini. Maybe he's never gotten out of that hat. Actually, where did you find it? I just read about one like this. Upstairs. Now watch carefully. <laughs> if it's a rabbit, I want it for dinner and a stew. Ta-da! Clever. You think you can sugarcoat the work for me with magic? Where do we start? Darling, do I really have to remind you what the doctor said? Uh, you've done it plenty of times already, but really, I don't have to sit idle all the time. Still, in your condition. It's not critical. I'm just pregnant, remember? But fine. If I can't help you, I'll pester you with questions. Have they called you from work yet? No. And did you give them our new number? Honey, it's the government. They even know the angle you're tilting your head at. Ugh. Gives me the creeps. Ever thought about doing something other than, you know, crypt analysis? I mean, before you joined the CIA? Like what? Like, um, something that doesn't come with being responsible for millions of lives. Some job without all the spies, agents, and double agents lurking behind your back? Without the constant feeling that you can't trust anyone? Um, not really. Besides, I can trust you, right? What are you staring at? Can you move that piece of furniture? There's something behind it. Now I regret putting that thing on my head. 
wonder who that guy was. Maybe if we hang this in the bedroom, you'll come to us in our dreams and tell us everything. I'd hang you first. Okay, okay. Sorry, buddy, you're going to the basement. That's the proper place for gentlemen from the previous century. Hello? It's David. So, this is it, boss. This is the moment when you start to rush me and I start to sweat. Well, <laughs> I don't want to press you too much, but I haven't heard from you for a week now, so I thought... Maybe he was killed by bears or wolves. I'd better call him. Because you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm stuck in every possible way. <sighs> you're not the only one. Three quarters of the team were assigned to work on the Russian woodpecker. And on top of that, Harold has vanished. Harold? The one who intercepted the telegrams. What happened? I don't know. Stress. He's been paranoid lately, seeing Soviets everywhere. Either he went nuts and did something stupid, or those Soviets did get him after all. Fuck! O on our soil? Well, they could be anywhere. And... I don't want to think he's playing both sides. To make it even worse, Bill and Mildred will shut down the project if we don't make a breakthrough in the next few weeks. I've got the documents from Janice with me. I'll get down to work. Good luck. And give my regards to your wife. I'll call you in a few days. There goes my vacation. The cipher machine is in the office. I've wasted enough time already. <laughs> 